seen it everywhere. On the walls of buildings, in galleries and museums, and of course on social media. Art is everywhere. Today, we bring you up close and personal with the artists who make it. We bring you the young and restless, emerging artists of Durban. So sit back, relax and enjoy. Hello, my name is Om Janesha Kiliza. I'm a visual artist. Um, I was born in Pashevsti, uh, south coast of KZN. Uh, as I practice art, I also teach uh, young people in different uh, fine arts programs. Okay, so my name is Brooke and I'm from Durban. I was born and raised in Durban, I live in Milo. Um, I'm a student at DUT, um, I'm doing my Masters in Fine Art. Eva Matthew is a fine artist who studied fine art at Durban University of Technology, DUT. Um, he first realized that he had a talent for art and fine art like from the age of grade two. So I, I, I always looked at drawing as being one of my talents and I kept it with me, you know, as I was growing up, I went from primary school to high school and then I, and then I ended up studying it at university. So what inspires me? I think that everything, all the experiences that I have on a daily basis are things that inspire me. Um, things that I look at online or interactions that I have with people around me. Um, I really love fashion as something that's really interested me. As I've uh, mentioned uh, in my background, that I grew up in rural areas of the south coast of KZN. Uh, so uh, I used to be very passionate about making art and doing creative things. Like uh, who have been in rural areas, they know very well that it's boring. And if you are not playing soccer, you should be swimming. If you shouldn't be swimming, you should be fishing. So there are very there, there are limitations of entertainment. So I've mainly uh, relied on drawing to entertain myself. I think art is something that is so important to the whole of humanity. It's a way to sort of talk about what's going on in, in the town that you're in, and then like looking at art history, you can see what's happening because of the art that was being made. Um, within my own work. Dealing with masculine body, the male body, and phallocentrism, I'm looking at how dominant masculinity can be very toxic and how patriarchy um, needs to be like, re looked at and challenged so that we can create a healthier society. One of the characteristics of my work is I actually use cigarettes in my artworks, and I personally pick them up by my self mostly and I actually incorporate them in my artwork. The reason why I use them in my artworks is because I use them as a metaphor for the human life because I feel that the human life is short just like a cigarette. Yeah, in my work, uh, contemporarily, uh, it explores the socio-economic dynamics within the South African post-apartheid structure and it intends to record the daily life experiences of uh, lower working class uh, migrant workers who reside in marginalized uh, spaces like townships and hostels. Like I said, being an artist is like being a business. How you put yourself out there. You can't make artists and hide them underneath your bed. So I use like, like, like as, as many channels as possible, whether it's Instagram or Facebook. It's not an easy industry to make it into, but believe in yourself, believe in your message, and you should get through. That is it for now. We hope that this was as informative and delightful for you to watch as it was for us to create. Oh.